We are about to visit another recent historical site. This incredible gash is the Vales Marinaris. Nothing this spectacular exists on Earth, on the land, that is. You'd have to go into the ocean. The Grand Canyon would quite easily fit into the Vales Marinaris. On Earth, it would slice Texas asunder. This baby is big. Let's take a closer look. You could fit the state of New York in this gigantic rift. It spreads far to the east and west, cracking and shifting and wrenching the tectonic plates apart. This opening is, in fact, the width of the United States of America. Even so, it is a recent historical opening and ideal for our example. We will close the Vales Marinaris. We will close it tectonically. That is, we will slide the tectonic plates back together, back to the position that they started from, and we will seal up this stretch mark without using any tricks. We are simply pulling all the pieces together according to a logical and sensible path which is dictated by the shapes and objects as they exist. We are not changing shapes by shrinking or enlarging or deforming them. We are simply moving them back together. If these pieces were worn away by water or by erosion of some sort, they would never again fit together. Yet, as you can see, they do fit together just about perfectly. When I first saw this process complete, I was stunned. I watched it for two hours in near disbelief. Please look at it as carefully as you can. This isn't a movie special effect. We are using the very best photos of Mars available and sticking to a strict set of rules.